Hello, I'm Perry Smith with your SCV News Break for Friday, January 17th. A statewide drought has prompted Governor Jerry Brown to declare a state of emergency. This comes after California experienced the driest year on record. Castaic Lake Water Agency General Manager Don Masnata isn't surprised by the announcement. I'd like to think that uh, we're going to see some, some rain and snow before um, this season is over with. If we don't, that'll truly be a, a crisis we've never seen before in this state. Not just the valley, but the state. Brown is asking Californians to conserve water in every way possible. Masnata says one easy way is to decrease the amount of water used for outdoor landscaping, which accounts for 60 to 70 percent of the water usage in Santa Clarita. Anyone in Santa Clarita 20 years ago old enough to have memories likely has a recollection of what happened at 4.30 a.m. on January 17, 1994. After the magnitude 6.7 Northridge earthquake rocked the city to its core, damaging homes, ruining infrastructure, and, for many, changing lives, what many remember most is how the city rebuilt. Thousands came together to volunteer and organize the rebuilding effort. The quake shut down the freeway passes and isolated the Santa Clarita Valley. To learn more about the disaster and watch video of the earthquake's aftermath, log on to scvnews.com or hometownstation.com. A former Santa Clarita Valley woman and her two children are dead after an alleged murder-suicide in Utah. Syracuse Police Department officials say 32-year-old Kyla Ramsdale Oliva reportedly killed her daughters, aged 13 and 7, before turning the gun on herself Tuesday. Authorities were called to the home the night before regarding a potential domestic incident. Oliva's fiancé had asked police officers to watch the home the couple had shared while he moved out some things on Monday night. He's not a suspect in the incident. After the break, the county's Department of Parks and Recs is recognized for its latest and greatest. That and more up next. At Nissan of Valencia, we take pride in supporting Santa Clarita schools and their dedicated students. Whether it's giving away free cars, providing academic scholarships, or supporting local sports teams, we want students to know hard work pays off. Hi, I'm Dan Sturkle, General Manager of Nissan Valencia, home to the $99 down delivers. For the vehicle you want at the lowest price in town, come on down to Nissan of Valencia, where our number one in customer service professionals will treat you with honesty and respect. An old knee injury used to keep me from enjoying the things I love most. Dr. Barraza has completely changed my life. I never thought going to a chiropractor could make me pitch better, but it has. It's kind of my little secret. What I do has proven to increase your quality of life naturally, without any drugs or surgery. Vertical Wellness, where your health and well-being is my business. Strong demand and a limited supply pushed Santa Clarita Valley home resale prices up in 2013. The typical single-family home changed hands for $440,000 in December. That's down slightly from November, but up 9% from the year ago. Condo prices were also down in December over November. The median Santa Clarita condo price of $255,000 is still a full 27.5% ahead of last year. Los Angeles County's Department of Parks and Recreation is receiving a claim for a state-of-the-art facility in Agua Dulce. The Vasquez Rocks Interpretive Center opened in May 2013. Now the California Park and Recreation Society is honoring the department with its 2013 Award of Excellence. Visitors can enjoy the center's historical, geological, and artistic displays Tuesday through Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4. Turning to weather, clear skies and warm temperatures in Santa Clarita Friday when highs reached into the upper 70s. A red flag warning in the SCV did expire at 6 p.m. Friday. Winds are expected to continue Saturday with a high around 80 degrees. Highs will remain in the upper 70s Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. That's all for tonight. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Perry Smith.